What's going on, you legends? We are back with Battlefield 1. We completed all of the war stories from Storm of Steel, introduction to Through Mud and Blood, completed that story to Friends in High Places, ended up completing that, completed Avanti Sylvia, which was the third story, which was shorter, completed The Runner, which was the fourth story, and the fifth story called Nothing Is Written. Granted, there's other stories I could play, but I'm not going to buy them. Reason being is because this game came out in 2016, and I'm not paying 15 bucks for the DLC game, or gameplays of the campaign. So, I'm not going to do that. Plus, I got Battlefield 1 for free because it was part of the PS5 bundle deal where... They have a selection of PS4 games that you get basically for free. So this last part is called Remember Us. It's a closing message from Battlefield 1 team dedicated to those who served. So let's listen in. One day, all this will be over. The war to end all wars will be won by one side or the other. The guns will rust, grass will grow, and there'll be nothing left of any of this. The land will heal itself, as everything does in the end. We'll be long gone by then, but maybe not forgotten. History only remembers one in a thousand of us. And the future will be filled with stories of who we were and what we did. How we lived, how we fought, and how we died. When this is all over and the war is won, they will remember us. But until that day comes, we will stand. We will look death in the eye. And we will fight. Alright, so that was Remember Us. It was just basically a little film just to cap it all off. So, I just skipped through the credits. I wasn't going to let you, I wasn't going to talk through the credits and I didn't think it was that important anyways. But, down to business. So, this game, I don't know why I didn't play it sooner, but this was a blast. I'm not going to lie. The first story through mud and blood i wasn't too fond of right away i was more not into it like i was like man this is kind of boring it's just like especially the first mission and we we're just driving a tank around the whole time like that was nothing really fun and when i got to the fog it was like okay we're on foot patrol basically leading but and then it got challenging throughout the stories. And that's what I liked. Like, it didn't matter how I put it on the normal difficulty. But it felt like, the ch even though it was on normal, it felt like they got harder. So, I just left all the deaths in there. I wasn't going to take them out. Just so you guys could see how difficult it was. I mean, if you guys can play it on normal, you should play it on hard then. And if you, can't, if you beat it on hard without dying, then you... Dang, congrats. <laughs> I didn't, it was hard for, on normal for me. But I liked it. I hopefully, because the next one I'm going to play is Battlefield 5, and I don't know how many parts there are. I don't remember exactly. I played the multiplayer of Battlefield 5. I've yet to play the multiplayer of this, but I'm not really going to play the multiplayer. Because I was just doing it for the campaign, plus it was free, so I had to pay for this. And same with Battlefield 5. If it was free, I didn't have to pay for it. So if there's an expansion DLC for campaigns like this and Battlefield 5, I won't buy them. So I just played the main parts. But this basically made me 
get into thinking about Battlefield 2042 because I saw the trailer and gameplay introduction and that and it looked really good so I was like oh let's give up or let's give a, these other Battlefield games a shot and so I'd go with this one first because the campaign looked longer and this would give me a couple weeks to process and make these videos and have them already uploaded for you guys and then I could focus on making other videos why this is already showing so when it comes to August I said August or September I think September when it comes to September that's when I'm gonna be really busy with all these videos because 2k 2022 is coming out or 2k 22 I should say with either Luka Doncic as the cover athlete or I think it was Kevin Durant, Dirk Nowitzki, and Kareem or Magic Johnson. That comes out in September, I believe. 2042, I believe, comes out in September. Um, the Guardians of the Galaxy, which I may play just because of the Avengers, that comes out in September, I believe. And, like, it, they're all about the same week. I think two of them come out, like, the 7th and so on. And there's, like, two other games that come out in September. And I'm interested in all five or four, how many I think there is. But I'm interested in them, and that will keep me busy. So, hopefully, through from now to the rest of August, and maybe part of September, hopefully... I have enough videos out. If not, I'm going to have to make some boring videos, which I'm not going to enjoy. But I have a couple of ideas of some. But I also don't really care. So I may just take off a couple of weeks there and then there. And the reason I'm telling you ahead of time is just so you guys know. So if this, if I decide to put the Battlefield 5 before this, then it'll be different. But I doubt it. I'll probably put this before Battlefield 5 since it's shorter. According to what I've looked up. Okay, enough blabbing about what you guys will see in the future coming in the next few months so the next few months will be busy and i may just go back to a five day video recording session maybe uh i may not but who knows so introduction was introduction for this game and the film was just the film is nothing really so i'm not going to include those the one thing I want to talk to you guys about with this was my opinion and ranking of the stories. So, we'll start with the fifth one. Like, not the fifth story, but my fifth favorite, or my fifth overall story that I really didn't care too much about. And that was... Uh, that's tough, actually. I would say Avanti Sovia. It's close. So my five and four would be Avanti Sovia and then Through Mud and Blood. The reason I had Through Mud and Blood just a little higher was because Avanti Sovia, you were in an armor suit, you're always on foot, so it didn't really matter. You really didn't get to do too much. It was just two short missions. You made an attack, and then you basically had to find your friend. Like, if they added one more part, it probably would have switched spots, but it didn't. So, I wish I would have done something like a little bit longer, or did something completely different, but it wasn't a bad story. Like, none of these were bad stories. It's just the order how I favorite them, favoritized them, and which one were my favorite stories to play as, or play through. As I said, the fourth one would have been Through Mud and Blood. wasn't really too big of a fan of it at first, just because it was mostly tank until you got more to it on foot. And then once you I found out you can get silenced weapon, I was like, okay, this changed the gameplay. Most of it was being in a tank, and it wasn't too f much fun, but you had some stealth. The other one, you really didn't have some stealth. You're pushing through. So, those are my five and four. My third selection is going to be Friends in High Places, which is the second war story. 
much like through mud and blood, you were always in a vehicle. You were, but we were in the air, so that changed the whole thing. And the ending to it, I enjoyed a lot more than through mud and blood and Avanti Sovia. So that's why I'm placing this one at three. Plus the third part of Friends in High Places it was more of stealth slash rescue mission and enemy lines and basically basically what I'm saying is Blackburn is had a, I had a lot of fun. The second the first part was just more of it getting used to the planes and that and that was it. But after that I enjoyed it. And then the second one is Nothing is Written. I enjoyed it. It was not a bad mission. Not much to complain about. It, it, they were really long, except for the first part. The first part, they could have made probably a little bit longer. But they didn't, but that's all right. Not going to say much. And the first one is called The Runner. I, I, you guys probably knew this, but I enjoyed that one a lot. Had really sad feel to it. I mean, all these had a bad, sad feel to it, but that one just got to me more because it was basically a big sacrifice so that's my list of the games or of the war stories in order that i liked again the runner nothing's written friends in high places through mud of blood and avanti sovia that's my list uh let me know in the comment section below what you liked out of the stories being one through five or five through one which one Five being the worst, not worst, but not your favorite, and one being your favorite story. Anyways, remember to subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. Hopefully, I get my goal for the rest of the year is try to get over 50 to 100 subscribers in between that range. So, just let people know. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in Battlefield Five.